I, I, I'm here today to honor the lives of our World War II Medal of Honor recipients who bravely served our nation, including the last surviving recipient who just celebrated his 98th birthday, uh, Herschel Woody Williams. And uh, my colleague is here with me, and we know uh, we've known Woody for years and years and years. And there's just not a person who's never quit serving his country from the day he was born to the day he fought and won the Medal of uh, Congressional Medal of Honor at Iwo Jima. If you ever saw any uh, pictures uh, and basically, you know, the, the war uh, videos we see, and you see a little guy running around Iwo Jima shooting the uh, flamethrower into the pillboxes, that was Woody. And uh, it's just unbelievable. He's a fellow West Virginian. He was a Marine, a Medal of Honor recipient for his heroic efforts at the Battle of Iwo Jima that I've been told involved the flamethrower, which I have seen. And it just, he says, not just one. I think he went through five flamethrowers. Because when he ran out, he went back and re reloaded and went, went at him again. And uh, just unbelievable. Woody has dedicated his life to our great uh, and our beautiful United States through his service in the military and his dedication to supporting veterans and advocating for their needs for decades after. There's not a time when I know that Senator Capito and myself don't hear from Woody and there's something going on, whether it's at the cemetery or whether we're having a ride for uh, the Gold Star families. We do a motorcycle ride, which I would like to invite you to and enjoy. It's wonderful. Senator Capito has been with us before on that, but it just really, it's a wonderful thing. And Woody has never failed to be part of it. Now he rides in a slingshot, but by golly, he makes the whole, he makes the whole route. And uh, he's dedicated his life really to our veterans and, and uh, to the Gold Star family. He's bound and determined to get a uh, committal shelter built at the Donald C. Kennard uh, Memorial State Veterans Cemetery. And again, Senator Capito and I, both serving on uh, the Appropriations Committee, have committed that we're united in getting this done, and we will get that done, and, and it needs to be. Um, and that basically uh, it would ensure that the families of our fallen soldiers and veterans, they have a safe place. Uh, to lay their loved ones to rest, protected from the weather, rain, sun, and snow throughout the year. In this year's Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Appropriation Bill, we include a language to create a pilot program that allows federal uh, veteran cemeteries to build shelters for, for those purposes. But we must ensure the pilot program includes state veteran cemeteries uh, like the Donald C. Kennard Memorial um, State Veteran Cemetery. The families of our fallen service members deserve to honor their loved ones in peace, and I am proud to help Woody fight for this simple request. Americans like Woody Williams answered the call to serve our great nation during World War II, and he fought to ensure our democracy prevailed. Their sacrifices allowed the rest of us to enjoy the freedoms we hold sacred and help make the United States the strongest nation in the world. <clears throat> I'm going to share with you one story that Woody's told all of us back home, but he says the thing that he uh, remembers most and the thing that he still grieves the most about. He had two Marines that were protecting him with gunfire while he ran around and uh, their lives were sacrificed for him. They both got, I think, both got shot and uh, perished. And he says that they gave their life for me to do my job and protect them and save my life. And uh, there's not a day goes by he said doesn't think about that how the good Lord spared him, but the sacrifices that were made for him in our country. So I believe that honoring all those that served in World War II by allowing the last surviving, and I want to make sure we understand, Woody Williams is the last surviving Medal of Honor recipient from World War II. We're asking that he be allowed to lay and stay at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda, and what better way to honor this generation and their sacrifices than the present to authorize a state funeral for that brave individual. And Woody, there's not a better person to represent all of those who've sacrificed and given their all, but all those that were basically decorated for their valor uh, to, to do this. And bestowing this great honor on the last surviving World War II Medal of Honor recipient would be the perfect way to come together as a nation to salute the greatest generation. So I'm honored to be here uh, with my colleague and my friend, Senator Capito, and a bipartisan, this is, there's, you know, I've always said this, the only, the glue that holds this country together is the people that put themselves in harm's way for all of us. They didn't say, well, I'll put a uniform on and I'll take a bullet for the Republican, but not the Democrat, or I'll take a bullet for the Democrat, not the Republican. 
Senator Capito's father took a bullet for all of us too, and she'll speak about that, I'm sure, and the bravery that he had. He was my dear friend, and we all miss him, but uh, the sacrifices that, that my parents and Senator Capito's parents and, and that generation, the, no, that was the greatest generation I think that we'll ever see, because they took responsibility and took responsibility for their action. They held themselves accountable for their actions. And that showed the character that generation has. And that's what I would hope these young interns and all the young pages that we have here understand that your character is defined at the day that you take responsibility for the actions, good, bad, or indifferent, and be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I made a mistake, I can do better. That's my fault, I'll fix that. That's character. So I'm honored to be here. Uh, and um, honor every World War II uh, veteran every World War II Medal of Honor recipient. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join us in our efforts to honor these brave veterans. And I call on our president, President Biden, to grant our request. And with that, I yield the floor to my colleague. Mr. President.